نحمده و نصلي على رسوله الكريم today my topic is about the history of bani israel and history of jewish and judaism and palestine this is what i promised on the last year of ramadan that uh, i will cover this topic in four and five episodes but before i go into that topic i want to condemn like every single soul which has an iota of iman and humanity in their heart in australia in asia in africa in north america south america in europe they are condemning that tyranny is done by a tyrant a zionist state israel israeli soldiers israeli militant forces are killing and torturing innocent palestinian people and among the palestinian people there are peace loving muslims peace loving christians and few jews so palestinian is not one entity but a lot of people are suffering so zionism is a political movement they are racist they are taking not only the land of palestinian but they are also taking their lives we should stand against zionist and zionism zionist approach may allah help palestinian so now let's come to the topic which i want to talk about today the history so let's begin the from where the bani israel started or from where the israel started so israel is a hebrew word like we have word in arabic abdullah it's israel has the same meaning so il is means allah so israel means you know servant of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or servant of god like we have jibril alayhi salam the angel il jibril israfil mikail and malakul maut we call it malakul maut but in hebrew it is called or in some old testament it's called israel and then we have another buddy of our his name is azaziel and that has a curse of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that is shaitan is azil who means that the one who had a great respect of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala similarly the people of the jewish people the zionist they had the izza and respect of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala but because of their you know evil nature now they have the curse of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so let's begin so we all human being our creation of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we started from adam alayhi salatu wasalam okay either they are jew christian muslim hindu or just name buddhist name any religion anyone we are all the offspring of adam alayhi salatu wasalam so now let's come to the prophet ibrahim alayhi salatu wasalam in english we call it abraham he had two sons first son was ismail he was the eldest one and the second one ishaq alayhi salatu wasalam ismail is also called ismail and ishaq is called isaac so ismail was the son of hajar haidi and ishaq was the son of sara or sara so our prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he is the offspring of ismail alayhi salatu wasalam the rest of the anbiya the rest of the rusul like Musa alayhi salam, Isa alayhi salam, Zakariya alayhi salam, Yaqub alayhi salam, Ayyub alayhi salam and all these anbiya they were they were Bani Israel they were offspring of Ishaq alayhi salatu wasalam all the three other books except from Quran they were revealed three divine Torah, Zabur, Psalm they were revealed to Israeli people so now so Ishaq alayhi salam he had a son his name was Yaqub or we call it Jacob and he had four wives and all his 12 children were you know from his four wives the first name wife name was Leah Leah had seven kids one daughter and daughter name was uh, Dina and there were six sons and the first name son name was Reuben Simon Levi Judah as a char Zebulun and the Dina was a daughter and then the second wife she had her name was Zilpha and she had two kids first name was uh, Gad 
second one was Asher. And the third wife was Bilha. And she had two kids. One was Dan, D and Dan. And the second one was uh, Naftali. Okay. And then the, the fourth wife, her name was Rachel, which we call in Arabic Rahil or Rahila. And she had two sons, Joseph, which is, which is Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam, and then Benjamin, like Benjamin. All these kids of Yaqub alayhi salam became 12 tribes. They were 12, 12, 12 tribes of Israel. That's why we call them Bani Israel. After Yusuf alayhi salam, and I'm not going into detail of the story of Yusuf alayhi salam, how the brothers of Yusuf alayhi salam and the sons of Yaqub alayhi salam, they hatched a plan when they heard the the dream of Yusuf alayhi salatu salam that 11 stars and sons, they are, uh, you know, they, they are bowing and they are doing sajda, prostrating in front of him. And he told his father and his father said, don't tell to your brothers. And then we know the whole story, how the brothers had a plan. I don't want to go for that detail. So the end is that Yusuf alayhi salam got into Egypt. And then when he became the minister of Egypt, like Aziz and Misr, and he was in charge of all the grain and the food. So his whole family migrated from Sham to Egypt. And we know the story. So the origin of Banu Israel starts from Egypt. They were living there peacefully until the Pharaoh or the Pharaoh took them captive. And the persecution started against Jewish people. They were treated like animals and their children were killed and their women were taken. Allah mentioned this horrible trials of Bani Israel in several times in Quran. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala himself said, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, wa fi zalikum bala'um mir rabbikum azim. And in that was a great trial from your Lord. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said there was a great trial, there was a test. Then what happened in the second phase, the Musa alayhi salam, he saved the children of Israel. He saved the children of Israel from uh, the Fir'aun. And again, this story is narrated in Quran, in Surah Al-A'raf. وَتَمَّتْ كَلِمَةُ رَبِّكَ الْحُسْنَةِ عَلَىٰ بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ بِمَا صَبَرُوا وَدَمَّرْنَا مَا كَانَ يَسْنَعُ فِرْعَوْنَ وَقَوْمُهُ مَا كَانُوا يَعْرِشُونَ and the good word of Allah, your Allah was fulfilled. This is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was saying. For the children of Israel, because of what they had patiently endured, because they were just facing the torture and suffering from, you know, imposed by Fir'aun. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised them and that the reward was given to them. And we destroyed all that Pharaoh and his people were producing and what they had been building. This is what the Quran says. So there is a story. So inshallah, we will, come, we will cover that story in another episode that how the army of Pharaoh was, Fir'aun was destroyed and what they were planning and hatching it. And then how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had helped Bani Israel. So the Bani Israel suffered in unspeakable torture and enduring of all that remained believers. Allah honored the Banu Israel by choosing them to his special slave, his special people. And this is, this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also mentioned in, in, in Quran. And it says, وَلَقَدْ آتَيْنَا بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلَ الْكِتَابَ وَالْحُكْمَ وَالنَّبُوَةَ وَرَزَقْنَاهُمْ مِنَ التَّيِّبَاتِ وَفَزَّلْنَاهُمْ عَلَى الْعَالَمِينَ And we did certainly give the children of Israel the scripture, the book. And you know, like the several books, were, and several pamphlets were sent to Bani Israel. It's not one book. For Muslims, we have only one book, which is Al-Quran. But the people of Israel, they had so many kutub and, uh, and so many pamphlets were sent to them. And so they, we did certainly give the children of Israel the scripture and the judgment and prophethood that he sent so many Ambiya to Bani Israel. And we provided them with good things and preferred them over the worlds. 
you know, they were kind of, they were preferred by other people. That these people are, you know, the chosen people kind of say, for the moment right now. And they had great gift of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So now, because these people, the people of Bani Israel, they were treacherous. They always hash plan and they always went against the order of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm talking about the people, the common folk or some of the, the scholars of Bani Israel. So why would Allah choose a whole nation of bad people to be his special slave? Now, this is a question. There is a big question that why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is choosing bad people. The fact that Allah made them special proved that there was something special about them. Allah highlighted this point in the following verse. We said, and we certainly chose them by knowledge over all the worlds. Because they had knowledge. Because so many Anbiya came to them. And the scriptures of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala were revealed to them. So although we know all of the messengers of Allah were Muslim, most of the prophets who came after Abraham, like Ishaq and Jaku, were Jewish descendants. Exception of, as I mentioned, that uh, Prophet alayhi salatu salam, like Dawud alayhi salam, Suleiman alayhi salam, Yahya alayhi salam, Zakaria alayhi salam, and Jesus Christ alayhi salatu salam. Any more and many more were Muslims of Jewish descent. And they certainly were exemplary human beings. Peace be upon them all. That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, give their knowledge. And that's why, because of these people, not because of those scholars, the biased scholars, those who were treacherous and always making conspiracy. So, no, not because of that, but because of these, you know, the innocent Anbiya alayhi salatu wasalam. And, you know, the Bani Israel, the people of Bani Israel, when they left Egypt and they came to Syria, and we, we will talk about the story, they... They did not say thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his, for his bounties, for his treasures, and for his, you know, rahmah upon them. Rather, they became criminal. And the criminals among Banu Israel mentions also in the Quran. And these were those people of Bani Israel who committed shirk, associated partners with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they, yes, when the Prophet Musa alayhi salam, he went away and they started worshipping cow. So they, they made shirk Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they started disobeying the orders of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And even when one of when some of the Anbiya of that time they asked them and they do Amr bil Maruf and Hiyan al Munkar at that time, they killed those prophets. Not one, not two, so many prophets. And they changed the scripture. And this thing is still going on, changing in the scripture. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we are so fortunate. We are so lucky that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has protected Quran. There is not even a single change since it was revealed in the Holy Quran. But these people, the Jewish and some other people, they continue making changes in the scripture as they needed, as they wanted, according to their wishes, evil wishes and vicious wishes. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Laina Ladina Kafaru Mimbani Israel Ala Lisani Dauda wa Isab na Mariam Darika Bima Asawakanu Yaqtadun. This is what Allah says. Curse were to those who disbelieved among the children of Israel by the tongue of Dawud Ali Salam and Jesus Alay Salam and who is the son of Mary. That was because they disobeyed and transgressed. So, so what they wanted, the, the, the scripture was revealed, like Zabur was revealed on Dawud alayhi salatu wasalam, which we call in English Sam, and Bible on Jesus alayhi salatu wasalam. And when they did not find anything pleasing to them, they started making changes to the scripture. And this is what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is showing his anger and wrath on these people. So these were the certain groups of the people from among the Bani Israel, or we call it Banu Israel, not the whole of Banu Israel who transgressed. It does not mean that everyone, you know, transgressed uh, and the everyone was evil. There were few people like we see in these days, like there are Muslims, there are Palestinians, they are protesting against Zionism and there are some Jews with them 
they are also protesting against the violence against the terror against the humanity so these i'm not saying i'm not saying that they are 100% right in the religion because as a muslim i believe that islam is the final religion and that is the religion true religion all other sharia though we say amantu billahi wa malaikatihi wa kutubihi wa rasulihi that i believe in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala i believe in all angels i believe in all books all re- revealed divine books Torah, Zabur, Injil, and Quran. But I practice only Al-Quran. Thalika al-Kitabu la riba fi hudal lil-muttaqi. This is the book. There is no doubt. I have to practice for that one. So, but Banu Israel. So, at that time, not everyone, you know, transgressed. Not everyone has plans. Not everyone was... involved in killing their prophet there were god fearing there were pious people of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so inshallah we will continue in the next episode that how they moved from egypt to palestine and that area so now in today's story we learn that the israeli people they are from hazrat ishaq alayhi salatu wasalam who had a son his name was yaqub alayhi salatu wasalam which is called jacob and yaqub alayhi salam he had 13 kids out of 12 they were male and one was girl and that's why their 12 tribes are made that's why we call them banu israel and these 12 tribes spread it all over the world and few people of those 12 tribes also moved and migrated to Medina and where they were expelled and the battle of Khabar was fought at that time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave victory over Jews to Muslim and victory was given by the hand of Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu because I just want to mention at the end uh, the one day before the Khabar battle of Khabar Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said tomorrow I will give my flag to that person who who will get victory the sahaba said the whole night we were anxious that who is going to be the next person who is going to be that person who will hold the flag of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam the next day prophet alayhi salatu wasallam he asked where is ali and they said that ali had some problem with the eye so red eye kind of thing so the prophet asked him okay bring him to me and he came and prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam put his lab like his salve into the eyes of uh, hazrat ali and he got cured and then he fought against the jewish and he got the victory with his chivalry with his power last so the hazrat ali he is from the ahli bayt and inshallah we have a firm belief that hazrat ali is not there but his chivalry his bravery ahli bayt and all his descendants are still here and we will fight against the zionism and zionist and we'll get victory against them inshallah so stay connected stay tuned for next uh, episode that migration from Egypt to Palestine of the Jewish that would be our topic inshallah and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so that you get updated whenever new video is uploaded assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh